we will do uh, uh, one of the spinoffs here of this game. So just like with Triple Deluxe, this has two spinoffs. One of them is Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. Um, <clears throat> the important thing to note there is that Super Kirby Clash, I'm pretty sure, is just the same shit. Like maybe even the same game but touched up with a bit more content, so... I don't think we're actually going to play that one. I'm going to look into it after this um, and make sure I'm not crazy. But I don't think we'll be messing with that. And the other one is going to be Kirby's... Um, I'm going to check, double check the name here. It's like Blowout Blast or something. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was, that was a good one. That was a good, solid Kirby game. Wish they're all a bit more like that. They're gonna they're gonna be two D. I mean, the thing is, it took them what? <laughs> return if you want. So, Return to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, and then that one. They're almost carbon fucking copies of each other in mechanics, assets, and uh, some other stuff, right? It's not like they just came out of the fucking park and, and just, you know, whoop, came out of the woods and they just nailed that one. It took them quite a bit, um, but glad they did. <clears throat> and, you know, I think they put out what Star Alley's after this, which is supposed to be a piece of shit, so that's good. Looking forward to testing that out. <laughs> but then Forgotten Land was good, so. Uh, this is supposed to be short, maybe an hour. Uh, this will probably be the last one we do today. So, uh, you'll see what this is once we get started. We did one level of this in the main game. This is the standalone version. It's gonna have a bit more. Um, it's another cheap, like, you know, $7 type of uh, standalone game. Obviously, Team Kirby Clash was the one that got a little bit more love. And the gimmick of this one is the 3D. So, technically, this is maybe the first. Um, full 3D Kirby movement that's actually focused on Kirby moving, so. Might not have been forgotten Land, man. Because, I mean, Air Ride has him walking around in 3D, but it's focused on racing. <laughs> not Kirby. Doing Kirby things. So. Inhale, spit. That's the whole game, baby. You inhale. You spit in little combos, and that's it. It looks like a fun little game, though. From the little I've seen, it's probably gonna be more fun than Didi's fucking rhythm. Fuck me, or whatever the hell it's called. That shit looked fucking dull as hell. Or not dull. It didn't look dull. It, it was dull. It was not very good. And uh, Team Kirby Fighters or whatever the fuck is also equally shit. The Smash Club. Gold Trophy. Yeah, we'll be playing this for an hour or so. Then we get done. It's like a fun little game.
That's the game. I'm sure it's gonna, you know, mix it up a little bit here and there, but it's at least fun. Simple fun, right? Yeah, I'm definitely curious what they're gonna do in the next one, man. It's already getting pretty meta. I mean, I'd say this, though, is not as funny, silly, as a Forgotten Lands crazy over-the-top ending, but the actual scale of it is absolutely crazy. If you had the same, if both of them, you know, were the same, but they both use, like, just a normal vehicle or something, then this one would be way crazier. The only reason Forgotten Lands is crazier is because it's a fucking... Or funny is because you're in a fucking truck. For pure golds. Glad there's an amiibo plaza there though. Sure suck if level one EX. Gold or better. I don't care about the EXs, man. <laughs> I think we'll get the idea just playing through it. Well we'll see by the end. Maybe if I'm just so in love with the concept. I'll go for full scores like Star Stacker. I'm a super star stacker. You get a little collecting, a little plan shooting. I mean, what's not to like, really? Like, this is a much more acceptable, small Kirby game. It still has, like, your core Kirby, like, concepts in it, like, grabbing shit and shooting it. And it definitely feels more like a small game kind of idea. That would fit as a small game, right? The Smash one, or the Battle Royale one, is a, this should be a bigger game idea, and it ended up being <laughs> not the case. It was a $7 game, and it was just weak for it, and then fucking out Battle Royale is like a $40, $50 game. It was, uh, shit for it. Needed way more content. It's a simple concept, you could just make a bunch of different little puzzle levels on and put call it a day, man. Don't complain too much. It's fast. 
fast. It's 3D. Pretty optimal there. I got a lot of extra hits off. And some deeds. Cracko, Cracko Jr. Tell me about Cracko Jr., dude. Because he doesn't have a cloud around him. That is Cracko Jr. We're still getting bosses in this and everything. In 3D! Tell me what it's Krakos in. Oh, I don't think you're asking an action. <laughs> I can never tell sometimes, but I was like, what game is Krakos in? He's in every fucking game. I got you. Let me see what you're doing, buddy. He was not. <clears throat> and I was surprised. He got a lot of the same mini bosses, like the hammer guy and shit, but I do not recall Krakow himself. Damn, 
that is the Supremely comfy. Supreme! We got five in this one. Go oh, ahead. Hey. The Lolo music. Still one of the better songs. I'm the whole son bitch, man. Big fan of that and how they reuse it for like Dinah and all that crap. It's pretty cool. It's a good, just like shit's happening song. And they use it on bosses. It, really, it was a little too epic for the, uh, the, the level it was in originally. I kind of used it randomly in this little last level. They definitely have put it to better use in uh, later stuff. Yeah, that was one of the good things about Forgotten Land is that it was still, you know, a Kirby game and it had a lot of the Kirby fixings, but it wasn't like overly up its own. I keep saying reverential, like reverent. Like how they always, they have to reuse Cracker. They have to reuse this. We have to have this. It's a Kirby game, you know. I feel like they held back on that a little bit. Not to like a crazy extent, but enough to kind of like keep it from feeling like the same old Kirby bullshit. You jump. If you don't hit him, you probably just don't even get the gold. Sound effects, the numbers, little ricochet noises and shit. It's good. It's fun. I mean, I'll definitely be done with it. When we're done with it, I can already feel it. <laughs> this is a nice little aside for sure, but not not a <clears throat> not one we won't be on for the rest of our natural lives here. Focus. the end there. Platinum. Whoa, you can get platinum. Whoa. That platinum metal uh, symbol. Freezed and super creepy clash, by the way. 
That's all you gotta know. Oh, glad they have like a nice specific high number for uh for him. Um, for the platinum. I mean, if you do want to, like, you know, go crazy, they have some pretty, you know, high goals for you to do. Oops. I forget about those guys, man. This game mode just has me fucking shooting everybody. This one's gonna be a silver. Especially because we missed the one guy. Fucking end your mission, dude. What's this fucker again, man. Oh, it's both of them. These guys. Lo 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 and la la la. Was Krakow in 64? I'm sure he was. Kirby's big jump to 3D, we gotta have Krakow. Does he have nothing in 3D? I don't remember. I watched a speedrun recently, but I wasn't really honing in off Krakow's there. We see Krakow so often that, like, I don't know what fucking games all he's in because he's fucking everywhere. I think he was? I feel like he probably was. I feel like there's gonna be five stages. Let's see, maybe more. So maybe this is four. I assume five is gonna be like either dead center. If it's dead center. There, it looks like there could be like one star, like dead, dead center. But I'd put more money on there just being one in the back coming up, and then maybe the one in the dead, dead center would be like some bonus thing. Or final boss, we'll see. Like I said, it's not supposed to be a terribly long game, so. I'm not being very optimal here. I need to always be creating the big doubles. Singles are not a thing anymore like they were in the beginning.
That was a pretty good end, but we got the rest. It's gold. It's gold. It's gold, man. It's gold. Visual changes here. Cool. Bears aren't just sleeping that time, man. The bears actually want to kill you on sight, and this one, they always like napping in the others, and then Kirby kills him because he's mean and he's squished and. Control smooth too. That's nice. Doesn't feel janky. I mean, I suck shit in. It should. It's it's simple. I mean, concept. But I mean, it could feel fucking horrible. I mean, it would be fucking hard. I feel like it could be gold. I think platinum you have to get everything on the top. Like no damage, enemies defeated. Speed in the works. Gotcha. Any like secrets here? I don't think so. These levels have not been about exploring, it's about executing. If you can't get him, I'd actually look up a speed run of this one. I didn't even touch DD's rhythm thing, man. No interest in that shit. Speed run wise.
Hey, it's Krako Senior. A little bit of budget in this. You can feel it a bit. Two Krako fights, two of the Bobolo fights. I mean, they're obviously mixed up. But we're not creating any new models here. I don't mind, because it's, it's fun enough. I mean, the thing is they had models. Oh, this is pretty different. Bigly damage. Oh, really? Oh, speed play on that, man. Take any damage at least. We didn't get the speed, but everything else felt pretty good. We only missed one shot. We picked up almost every other bit. Oh, missed the speed though. Level five in the back. Look at EX. <laughs> I don't, I don't care about the X. <laughs> My question is, is this gonna be all the X is done or is this just the finale right here? We'll find out. <laughs> I tried jumped, but I fell off the ledge first. Imagine Rados is in his room, sweating, thinking every second, how could I create the next best pun that we've ever seen? <laughs> Feverishly sweating in his dark room. I need inspiration. That was a good one though. A little bit of a stretch was good. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Oh, 
What? I thought I can jump over me, dude. Keep your mind fresh. <laughs> yeah, limber. If you want big points, you're definitely supposed to grab their spears, but I don't really care. I mean, I'll get what points I can, but I mean, I'll wait around and get the clear. Focus on speed over anything. Some reason. I could definitely see somebody getting addicted to getting like max scores in this shit. This one's definitely more worth time than a lot of the other wacky ones. What they put out after uh, Triple Deluxe. Crazy angle there, I almost didn't expect to hit that. Okay, the size of it, I think, also determines the starting points. It's not inherently bad to do like a smaller, smaller ball, if you will. I always like those smiley guys that turn into evil killer dudes. Kind of fun. I mean, I don't like having to actually deal with them, but they're kind of fun. Conceptually. Visually. Shit, it's DDD. 
From DDD's rhythm jump smash thing. Hello. Hmm. Keeps jumping me. I do not like his Forgotten Land model. I don't know why they redesigned him when he was already great. But the originals still have the best, most expressive version of him. Most of them they've all been kind of fucking shit. Not shit, but uh, they've been kind of just okay, right? Especially once he got a 3D model, I was like, eh. But Forgotten Land is somehow even farther beyond that on the shit fucking wagon. He just looks like a thumb. He has a small beak. His head is not a head, it's like a smooth... Like... He's got this smooth line that goes straight into his body. Like, look at him here, he's got a head. And he's got a beak. And they're very... Separate. From his fucking chest, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This guy be the final boss. Yeah, it just was bad. I just don't know what they were thinking, dude. the old great expressive DDDs like a lot of fun and then just turn him into a voiceless fucking like <laughs> thumb oh well, that was short but cute if you wanted to get all the platinums go through the EX levels I imagine there's some like hidden final thing you can unlock I mean, it'd be pretty good all time. Figured out how to optimize and puzzle your way through it. I mean, this is a satisfying little short game. It is justified in being a short game. It's a simple concept that doesn't totally outstay its welcome. This is not like a full price concept, right? And I, I, that's how I like a lot of my short games, or my, my cheap games. <laughs> cheap short games. Like, it fits nicely into what it is here. It's not overreaching like the Smash Brothers knockoff that just sucked and had not enough content. The sound effects were nice, the, the hit stun was good when you're fucking shooting shit and it was bouncing off of stuff and the numbers were going up, it's very satisfying. Figuring out the best combo or the best thing to suck up to shoot in the like, you know. A group, large group waiting until the last second to blast as many as possible. Kirby's controlled well, he was smooth, he was fast, oh, that, was, that was fun. I don't have any big complaints on this one. It's a solid, just a little minigame. Um, I imagine the original and the, uh, this, the uh, Robobot, was just, it looked like it was like five levels, so this is just like, you know, a bigger chunk than that for sure. It's 
just keep it. Level 5 EX. Level 5 EX. Secret path. Lock the secret path by achieving gold or better in all levels, which I will not be doing. I think, I think that, was, that was good enough for me. Let's see what it is, though. Percent walk through secret path. It's kind of just like a dark version of all of these. You get um, a stage with the boss at the end. La 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 la's revenge. It's just their classic boss fight almost. Um, there's a second one stage. You get a little bit of stage. Ends with a fight against two of the purple meta guys. <clears throat> Another stage. Dark Krako after the stage. Guess we're gonna get Dark DDD or something. Nope, this one's just an even bigger knight with a purple knight as well. I'll go with him. There we go. <laughs> Another stage, and at the end of the stage. Dark DDD. No giant version though. Oh wait, never mind. <clears throat> A giant masked DDD at the end there. Got a few different attacks here. Laser beam. He's got his metal hammer and the mask and all that. Rocket launchers coming out of it. It's cute. And then that's it. Yep. Definitely not gonna be getting that. It's just a bunch of refights. A few new stages, which is cool, but I'm not going to be doing like all these levels. That was enough for me. I mean, I know we're not like 100%ing it here, but you know. We got through the, the significant stuff. That isn't just going to involve a lot of redoing shit. Got a lot of Kirby to get through. I don't want to linger on these unless I'm like really having a good time. So yeah, this one was good. I have no problem with this one. There's definitely more there if you want it. Can't, can't complain on that front. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that was, uh, we've been going for how long now? 10 hours? Um, I did 